feel this. Watch the speed. He goes up and under. And the outside, just too much speed. Good hands there. And then close. Hey, it's a screen, so the ball should never be sacked. Throw it in the dirt, right at the ground. Right there. Throw it. Throw it down. Throw it again. Out here tonight. Andrew Van Ginkle going right around Calvin Anderson. Well, Miles Garrett, you see him with the speed coming off the edge, and that's. He ends games for this team, and then right here, it's like, all right. Pickett feels him, the speed coming off the edge. Yeah, they just beat very, very quickly on the inside, turn loose right to Jeff. And he is now the Steelers franchise all-time leader in that category all by himself. Well, you see how he's able to just bend and get around. You know exactly, without this, you don't have to flush out, you're standing in the middle. He just beats us center one-on-one, -on -one, which is not easy to do. Nick Bosa off the edge, boom, gives him the outside hint, swim move inside, right in the quarterback's lap immediately. Look at where he's lined up, Jim, inside over a guard. He said, I want to just be the defensive player of the year. I don't want to put... Out of the University of Georgia, who made his presence felt last week and does oh. so again tonight. Oh, man. Sh Schlopman, the backup center in for last year, of course, ten and a half sacks. You can see he's almost just, just easing his way up respectfully. That's exactly... Watch what he does here. I mean, he just displaces the young tight end. Williams right against you. Whoa. Oh, I got to block him. <laughs> oh, my bad. It's just so quick inside. He just makes a brilliant move right here and gets right around. Yeah, he is such a big body right there inside. And look at the hands, the extension, and then your ability to get off. A guard act just right here on the end of the line of scrimmage. Just going to use that speed. Look at the burst, hands, and then the dip underneath. And relentless. Watch this spin move. As he's working against Jackson up the field, he's behind Tua. The only way he's going to get to him is to spin back. Just a speed rush right here off the edge. We spoke about how the outside backers here for Denver got zero pressure. The problem is you leave the big man, Jordan Davis, all alone one-on-one -on -one against Cleveland. You could see he's big, but he's... If you're going to beat him inside when he's trying to reach you hard outside, you better go ahead and make the play. Yeah. I'll tell you what. Carl splits. You're able to get inside and guess who's right involved in that play. I'd nowhere for how to go with the football. And then you see Cooper coming around the edge. Guys usually working around those tackles here with that blitz there from Cunningham and allowed Sweat to work back. They're going to say a fumble that's recovered by Tampa Bay. And I think it's going to get overturned. Yeah, they try and go deep here uh, in the uh, third and short situation. And again, Jadavian Clowney just all over the field today. And this is a screen pass, so it's not the worst thing for Brown to allow him to get back there. You want to kind of slow him a little more than that, but this is great effort, right? Extending the play, missing the first time, then coming back around. Incredibly high level. He's done it for many years. And right here after the Jets... You're going to see Edwards. He's just going to get penetration right in the backside and then just play downhill. And that play had no shot. For a guy who missed all of training camp, you did mention it earlier. And he said, hey, I missed the guys, but my legs are fresh. Great inside pass rusher. You disrupt teams because that quarterback he can step up from an edge rusher. Well, I think he's going to stay. Look, they bring Brock Wright. They're trying to kick out Jaron Reed. We knew coming in, KB. Watch Bosa come off the edge. Nice little game, and then Bosa comes straight under the block. Excellent job. Number 93, watch inside, and watch how he gets into the backfield. Do you see that? And now he's pushed it, and he's strung it out, which has allowed Chanel to get out front. Now you're able to get to a third and long. Does the quarterback have to hold the ball? What a if, great swim move. If mm. I am the Tennessee Titans, I find a way. I mean, he is upfield on Braxton Jones, and he has no choice but to try and pivot and chase him. Fields has no chance. Braxton Jones not having a whole lot of fun right now. Guard deck, just watch him just drop underneath. Drop underneath the ball. He reads it, just get underneath it, stay there. Raekwon Davis, watch this move back inside to go around the outside and then come back and make that play. We did not see. Once they start getting down the field, they tighten everything up. Five-man rush, 
and just nowhere for Watson to go as he gets out of the pocket. Watch Kalez Campbell take on not one, two offensive players, split them, and again, set that edge. Starting this year, you'll see just the speed, the get off. He's, he's really... I mean, there are white jerseys all over him. From these guys inside, he's going to go around, and these two are going to go this way. No surprise, Donald's working up top, creating the initial pressure for Brock to have to step up, and he steps up into a wall of Turner. He's got Byron Young there. Yeah, Four-man rush, and they're trying to, to help out. You see with the chip on the edge, but it's in the inside. Well, T.J. Watt, you see how he pushes back Harrison Bryant, and it forces Chubb then to get off course. And as an offensive coordinator, you expect to win that battle. You don't expect an inside linebacker to go ahead and just bull. Ten plus years in this league versus Trevor Penning, the young left tackle, and he just bull rushes him, Lou, and slips underneath. And you're going to get pressure. Tremendous job by Granderson. Coming over the top there. Bryce has got two hands on it. You're getting zone coverage. Kick that ball out. You know what? It's the, it's the perfect play call on the part of Dennis Allen in the Saints defense, right? It's a third and one on one. And when you do that, whether it's TJ Watt or Ogan Joby inside, somebody's got to win. And Ogan Joby does. Denver calling for time. Timeout. Disastrous play Timeout. for the Broncos. Denver. There, there's nowhere to throw the football. Nobody is attacking the middle of the field. Everybody is bracketed to the outside. A nickel pressure like that off the edge. You got to identify it early on, and right, Hal's going to check. Do I do I pull it? Do I pull it? Do I give it? But check it out. When Nick Medito, when you get in the backfield that fast, and so Wilson isn't able to spot Judy. He's looking to the other side. You see the great push inside by Allen, and then Young chasing. He sack late last week. You can't keep them down for very long. No, not at all. And we barely mentioned his name in the entire first half. A big reason for that is because Wilson only dropped back. There's Alex Highsmith, and Jedrick Ellis with the speed rush, he gets on him in a hurry. And then with the scoop and run it in by T.J. Watt. They've needed every bit of this defense to make these kinds of plays, and they have delivered. Over and over again, you're going to see right here on this left side. Watch this swim move right there, and that's against an all-pro for many years, Tyron Smith. I mean, this guy, his size, strength, intellect. Sack of the day for the Bucks. Yeah, just one of those things that this pass rush from Tampa Bay this afternoon, they've added some pressure with some blitzes. It comes from the edge. It comes up the middle. The ball, the arm came forward. Is this a fumble that just goes over the sideline? There's Chris Jones. He got rid of the football. And more importantly now, what does Jacksonville Please do? Please reset the game. You know, when you're looking at a short passing game, you've got to have guys that you have the ultimate confidence in to throw them the ball. Rooting for Michael Vick and the Falcons. And look at the pressure. Devontae Wyatt doing exactly what he did last week against the Bears. Preston Smith wrapping around. Bam! Right before the play. Just keep an eye on Bosa as he comes in here. Love seeing him work on the edges. Bull rush and then gets off and gets to Tannehill. And Ryan Tannehill cannot. To get everyone condensed. And then they wanted to throw the ball deep downfield. But George Karloftis able to run through the block by Luke Farrell. Right up the middle. And the quarterback <laughs> sets the worst plays to have that kind of pressure. But watch. C.J. Shroud steps up through it. As he did so many times a week ago. But just... Too many guys. You can see Tyquan Lewis getting home and Taven Bryant. You think this defense has heard all week about they've got to stop the run and the Jets ran all over them and the right decision. Well, Ryan Tannehill, pack, pack, pack. Nowhere to go with the ball. I mean, this sack is a coverage sack downfield, but also a sack because your quarterback didn't get rid of the ball. There's a lot of plays in this playbook that happen on the outside, on that perimeter. This is not a good start when you're talking about that. Not blocked well on the perimeter, the right tackle spot. And, you know, sometimes when you've got a good pass rusher, Cole Komet's there, but he goes inside. He releases inside, you know.
go to the outside. If, if you're not a key part of that play, always look at your guy, look at your tackle, protect your tackle. Dio Dango come out, came out of there with it for Indianapolis, but let's see, I thought I saw the official pointing down, down. Oh, well, that looks out. Yeah, it looks like, well, it's hard to tell. Let's see if that right knee comes down. Yeah. No, that ball is definitely yeah. out. Yeah, Samson Ebocom knocked it loose. Was there a clear recovery? And look at up pressure right here, and then everyone else comes. The pressure is Chris Jones because he's going to get upfield first and force a step up for Trevor Lawrence and right into the arms of Carl Loftus. Uh, watch right he there. He is elusive. He can get it. He has a wiggle in his pass rush. Mm. That wiggle, James, set him up outside yep. and then come back across the face. Herbert looking downfield, unable to get rid of the ball. And an excellent job by this Tennessee defense to get a three and out to start this game. Been a presence here. Watch as he gets upfield. Jacobs anticipate him being a big factor today as the Bills weren't very good against the run, but that time with a loss on the opening play of the game. You see again the rookie linebacker Pace walked up into the line of scrimmage. Affecting the communication on that right side. Hunter doing a good job. He's going to go inside, and then watch how quick he sees, gets outside with that speed, gets the arm up. Washington defense off the field. Watch Van Ginkle, and of course the question is, was the arm coming forward or not? I would say yes. Terry? I would say yes to Chris in control hand moving forward incomplete pass Terry McCauley three-time Super Bowl referee you hear Terry so often on weekends Saturdays and Sundays